scepter's weapon. The weapon, the scepter's for revenants is coming in, guys. And we have a trailer as well. Hello, Tunes. My name is Chun Hong Fung. So I'm a game designer of systems teams here at Ain. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know. I, I didn't know this. Uh, this developer. It's usually Cal who does it, right? Expanded weapon provisions are coming in Q2024 during the second major update for Guild Wars 2 Secret of the Obscure, bringing a new weapon and skill for each profession. They will be looking at the new Scepter weapon for Revenant's uh, profession, which you will be able to test during your Expanded Weapon Proficiency Beta event starting on November 28th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. As you can see already, oh look, they're having the collapsing star weapons, which honestly look pretty cool. So it's actually a good choice of weapons to show it off. All right, they're using a shield too. Seems like a healing weapon. Whoa, 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 what is that? Bro, it's like a big ass sword. What? Did... <laughs> Imagine one thing a scepter, guys. They just gave us another sword. Honestly, it looks badass. I was actually not very excited for scepter. I could not give less shit. But this looks sick. Did you see that? That looks cool. It doesn't really go well. Look, the fashion wars on on Anet, they need to get be a bit better. They don't really go well with the collapsing star weapons. They should have picked something else, like the Everbloom, like Edge Lord Everbloom, fucking. Sand. This is, but it looks badass though. That's awesome. Even you know, if you like scepters though, you might not actually like it. But me, you know, an Edge Lord like I, me, I like it. Okay. Don't cross the streams. Revenants will separate us in an unorthodox way that is uniquely to their persons. Having observed the creepers in battle, they draw upon their ability to connect individuals together using the scepter as a conduit. They use this conduit to channel energies between targets, strengthening allies and debilitating enemies. That sounds like healing to me and targeted healing. The Revenants out attack chain projects a concerted stream of energy, a literal laser sword, dude. Uh, a lightsaber from fucking Star Wars from the tip of the scepter, which will will which they will like a blade to swing a wide arc, damaging multiple enemies. The first attack, Siren Strike, is a simple melee slice. With the follow-up attack, Arbi Cut will grant might to allies, motivating well. Is it is Revenant really having that much issues with might generation though? But okay, motivating well is the third strike of the attack, attack chain, which cleaves enemies in 360 degree radius around the revenant and applies barrier to allies on impact the barrier so it's like kind of this hybrid weapon i guess the second skill blossoming aura infuses an enemy oh infusing an, infusing an enemy target with the energy of the mist dealing damage over time so it's a condi ability after the delay this energy explodes outward damaging the enemy and granting barrier to allies so it is kind of like this hybrid like barrier producing weapon but also does damage i guess and it's condi and i guess it could be power i mean the the, the first swings considering the fact that they didn't talk about any condis here it seems like it is a power attack right so it's like kind of this very hybrid weapon this effect can be strengthened by repeatedly striking the enemy with auto attacks causing the final explosion to deal more damage and grant additional value to allies interesting while this skill can be cast at range, if you want to maximize second effect, you'll need to get your ally enemies' faces. Finally, Otherworld, Otherworldly Bond is an upkeep skill that... Ooh, upkeep skill. So I guess that would work with uh, Herald as well. That creates a spiritual gather, probably for, for healing. Um, look, I need to stop the dialogue. It's so annoying to me. Oh, there, uh, there is. The theater can be... Okay, there is. Um, the theater has... Yeah, no. Otherworldly Bond is an object skill that creates a spiritual tether between you and your target. That, that is one hundred percent. Um, I think for healing. Um, for healing. Um, Herald, right? Ability for healing Herald. Because they don't really have a weapon that really does anything. Like, I guess they have shield. And that's. I guess they have staff. But scepter is gonna be go. You're probably gonna run scepter, shield, and staff, right? Which honestly sounds like a good way. Upkeep weapon skill? Yeah, it's interesting. The tether, the tether has in differing effects based on whether the target is an ally or an enemy. When using an ally, the tether continually grants might to the target and allies around you. Ooh, interesting. So it's kind of like this beacon of, of boons, right? When an enemy is getting tethered, the target will instead be inflicted with vulnerability and take additional strike damage from the revenants. So it's like 
it, it's a weapon that does everything, right? It can heal, it can damage, it can give boons, it can do power and conduit damage. The tether can be manually broken with the accompanying follow-up and deactivate. And it will automatically break if the Roman moves too far away from the target, and I guess if he runs out of um, energy as well. And like Blossoming Aura, attacking enemies will cause the effects to tether for the tether to strengthen them. Interesting. So it stacks up. Beacon Lord. But that's not all. When a tether reaches maximum strength, the Revenant gets a new follow-up skill called Otherworldly Attraction. The allied version allows the Revenant to shadow step to the tether target, granting barriers to allies around them. When an enemy is targeted, it instead pulls the tether, the tether to to towards the Revenant while applying additional vulnerability to them. You know what it sounds like? It seems like having a mech. Because you have shift segment, essentially, when you get to the maximum. It's kind of like doing the same things that mech does, but with uh, more restrictions to what they do. Because also, the mech does bring boons around him as well, just like this would do. Honestly, it sounds very interesting. It will be... Honestly, it sounds very, very good for... I mean, Heal Hurl is already very good, right? So, this is going to make it even more strong and give barrier to what Heal Hurl is. I wonder if you can... And also the upkeep, um, it making it an upkeep also interacts with the um, Herald traits. And also it sounds very fun. It, I like the fact that they are, are putting a lot of interesting things inside of the weapons. So it kind of replaces Elite Specs into a certain way. Because it's almost like it's a weapon for Heralds. I'm sure that you'll be able to use it on, on Spectre. But do, does Spectre have any other like traits? Because it is like a combination of both. Yeah, You have the upkeep from Herald, but you have the tether that you would have on on Spectre. Um, right? Oh, wait, Spectre. Oh, what? Yeah, what am I saying? Why am I talking about Spectre? He's fucking thief. It makes no sense. What am I saying? Although, it's kind of cool, though, even then. It is kind of like bringing Spectre into Rev instead. Um, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Um... Interesting. Very interesting. I guess you will have only Hell Herald. I doubt that you will bring this into like Hill. I don't think this makes Vindicator better, does it? I mean, I'm sure you make it better, but like you just bring Hill Herald every time. There's no point. And Hill Renegade, is it even a fucking build, anyways? I feel like it's trying to give it every class barrier. Yeah, I guess it's because they probably see that. Well, that, I guess that's what. It, yeah, I guess maybe that's what they're trying to do. Actually cracked build. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, depending on the numbers, this might outperform many sword for power builds. Yeah, sure, sure. It can definitely be good for um for damage, but I'm trying like in terms of like support, right? But yes, for damage, it could definitely be good for um for sword. You could bring sword, uh you can bring scepter sword, right? And you could probably bring uh sword well I guess I guess sword main hand would have a little more mobility because of unrelenting assault. But this one also gives a mobility ability. When you get over, like when you get all the charges. Um, yeah, I don't know. E I wonder if it's gonna be better for Condi. They do have the two is a Condi uh, attack, I guess. But like, no, probably you would not change. Uh, you would probably not change Maze for that, right? It's probably going. It's it's probably going to be fun. Um, Scepter seems really good unless the damage is really low. Support elements are probably worth it regardless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It could. They they probably will have to make it a, a weapon that doesn't do as much damage because otherwise, why would you? You probably would want to have sword as the offensive option. And scepter as the defensive option is probably what you would uh, end up end up doing. In shield, get ages on 15 seconds cooldown. Yeah, I think so. Upskill uh, web on upskill on weapon sounds interesting. It sounds very interesting. Yeah, I think it's very cool. Um, I think it's very very cool. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it ends up going, but I I doubt it's gonna be like it. Just seems insanely strong, right? It just seems like very very good. Uh, for any build. And it seems kind of, well, balanced in the sense that the other weapons, I don't think they're going to be completely destroyed in Rev. Right? 
is gonna have another option, right, for a support weapon. And he looks badass. Like, I love the fucking lightsaber meme. Like, I think it's so cool. Uh, you know, how you like... Okay, that is the tether, right, I think? Probably. Oh, no, that's probably the two, actually, because it, it didn't tether them, them in. And then look at that. Boom, boom. Like, so cool, man. Jesus, that looks cool. That looks cool as fuck, man. I really like it. It's very badass. ACM is over with this build? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, ACM will get... um. Because you're going to be able to um get the greens very easily, right? But then again... And then again, you're going to have to have the full energy to... You're going to have to time it very well for it to actually work, no? I think... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting, though. Very, very cool. I'm very excited for this one. I'm honestly more excited... I was I was not expecting Scepter to be exciting at all for me, because I don't really like Scepters, but... I'm more excited about this now than I am about... No, probably Staff Warrior is actually pretty, pretty cool, but I'm... I'm very I'm I'm as excited for this than I am excited for um, Swords or Necro and the Staff Warrior. Holy fuck! It looks so cool. I'm so happy. I'm so happy.